Hi guys, so I'm currently walking to pick a pay right now because I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I'm thinking of going to pick a pay because two birds on stone, probably gonna pick up like a few school stuff. I mainly need like an eraser and then like white paper so I can write out my schedule. But yeah. Stop by pin A, see what they have there. I'm not sure I'm gonna buy textbooks, like writing books right now. Probably like do that after actually going to school, figure out like what kind of textbooks we actually need, you know? But yeah, that's what's on the schedule for today. Pretty much just spent the entire day at home chilling. I was busy editing last week's video, but yeah. I'm not even done with that, my you. Man, look at me public vlogging. I am so anxious right now. But you know what? So this is for is the year where you do things that take us out of our comfort zones. But yeah, anyways, head off to pick a bay and I'll catch y'all at the store. Okay, so first off, I didn't vlog anything of pick a pay. One, it was full, and two, I just completely forgot, and I was just like stressed because there was too many people. But yeah, I ended up going to pick and pay, and then I picked up a few things at Spar as well. But yeah, this was like a full restock of like my cupboard, my pantry, my fridge, since like I only got back like a week ago. So now I like literally bought everything for like the rest of the month. Because I literally just bought essentials when I first got here. But yeah, right now my counter is full so let me just show y'all everything that we got so this is literally everything that i got i'm not gonna go through everything like individually because it'll just take way too long but i literally stocked up on everything as y'all can see i got the veg i got the carbs i got the starch i got everything the sauces the condiments everything this entire bag is just full with like meats so jay i am fully stocked up for the rest of the month so finished putting everything away and i went straight to prepping dinner and can we just say let me just pick y'all up i am so proud of myself i made burger with some homemade fries and some coleslaw on the side i'm about to devour this but yeah it's gonna be me for the night i think i'm probably just gonna eat this watch some youtube and then head to bed head to bed head to bed but yeah i'll probably catch y'all tomorrow bye Ah, uh, so right now I'm pretty much having like a self care day, half self care, half just like relaxing, because one, the weather all of a sudden in Cape Town has become horrendous. It's like hot as hell one day, and then the next day it's just like cold and gloomy. So yeah, today's one of the most cold and gloomy days, and I figured I'd finally get down to doing my nails. I haven't done my nails since I took my acrylics like off and like now they're starting to like chip and everything so I figured I might as well just spend today just like actually doing my nails and since it's low shitting right now I'm like guys I have like two hours to just chill so I have a movie on Netflix right now I have my handy dandy little nail polish pouch so yeah I'm gonna File them down first and then pick like a regular nail polish. I don't think I want to do gel because I'm planning to do my gel nails like when I go to school. It's just, you know, feel cute and whatever. But yeah, I'm going to watch The Proposal on Netflix right now. I haven't watched it in so long and it like just got on my Netflix. So I'm like, might as well just rewatch an oldie but a goodie. But yeah, and also the fact that I came out in 2009, excuse me? That is so long ago and it's a whole thing about like you know this thing going around where it's like four years ago was in like 2019 oh, was it 2019 wait what was four years ago four years ago was 2020 right now so in my mind four years ago was like 2010 right there's this thing going around where it's like four years ago it was in 2010 it was actually like 2020 i'm like excuse me me and my mom had this conversation and my mom was like yeah when people say 20 years ago you think of like the freaking 1980s right not like 2004 so yeah guys we're old because why in my mind 20 years ago is still 1980 i don't know and my mom thinks like 20 years ago is like 1980 like in her mind 20 years ago is like yeah, yeah, yeah 1980 so um i'm not alone but yeah i'm gonna just get into <sighs> doing my nails and i feel like when electricity is back i want to bake i went out yesterday and bought like a few things i want to make like a blueberry loaf thing with like crumble it's like the blueberry mugs that my sister makes back at home but she's like in a loaf pad 
and i'm so looking forward to this i'm not even going to lie but yeah let's begin my whole self-care day i'm so excited these are my nails before looking horrendous they're all like different shapes and sizes so enjoy guys it's gonna be a fun two hours waiting for electricity to come back but yeah i'll catch you when i'm done So this is her in all of her glory. She's looking real cute. Now I'm scared to take it out because like the sides like spills over. So it's gonna like probably break apart. But you know, obviously we've got to take it out so we can eat this. Okay, so here's my little slice. I'm gonna taste it now. And I already know this is gonna be like yummy. The crumble, top tier. Hey guys, so right now I figured I'd actually sit down and do my school timetable. I've had a very relaxed morning. Y'all have seen, I probably inserted a clip, a clip or two of it being like gloomy outside. Y'all can see me in like a long sleeve for like the first time since I've been to Cape Town. But yeah, gloomy day. So I just had like a really slow morning. I just finished having lunch. I had pizza. And tell me why, this was my first time making like homemade pizza, right? I slayed. Let me just insert the clip right now so y'all can see the amazingness that is my homemade pizza. It was my first time trying it out. I was so pleased with myself. I made the whole dough from scratch. I made a sauce from scratch. I used toppings that were in my fridge. Turned out amazing. But yeah, I just had lunch. So, you know, motivated. Energy levels are high. So yeah, I figured I'd actually start drawing out my timetable since like, I know when my classes are but i'm not sure like i haven't literally i've not gotten our like syllabus yet first of all context it's wednesday school opens on monday and i'm like okay maybe it's like a little early but like i just like getting things done early so yeah i'm gonna do my time syllabus today and then hopefully like in these next few days i have like my syllabus and like my classes open so that i can actually like write down all of my test dates assignment dates all of those things i just like everything everything like on one page where i can just see every single assignment that's like due for the semester but yeah that will be another time i guess but yeah right now i'm going to just do my timetable i found this cute layout take it right you can't even make the timetable like look cute because it's literally monday to friday nine to five and the fact that my class this year like two of my three classes are in the afternoon I'm low-key livid, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm like a morning girly. Why am I going to school in the afternoon? My last class starts at four and ends at five. Y'all already know in winter I'm gonna be coming home and it's like pitch black outside. My mom's like, what are you gonna do? I was like, girl, what, what do you mean what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the bus and just hike it. Because like, ha, huh, guys, the school of hours on the mountain just plays games too much. But yeah, I'm just gonna get into doing my type two. I'll probably just show y'all what it looks like after. I'm done running out my timetable. This is what it ended up looking like. I am shocked at this big ass gap, but luckily for me, Mondays I only start at two, and then Thursday and Friday I don't have like by four o'clock. So I guess there's pluses and there's minuses, I guess. But we'll see if I actually go to every single nine o'clock and every single four o'clock. This one I'm pretty sure I'll go to like every single day. These two 
question mark but i feel like the first month or like the first few weeks i probably should be going all the time but it just depends on the classes and then i also wrote it down in my little blue workbook so i have one in here as well just in case i take this with me I'll probably keep this with me like at all times anyways and like this is just convenient because it has like class names the lecture venues and like the time so i remember that because one of my classes has like two different lecture venues which is just gonna be confusing for the semester but anyways i also wrote it down on my laptop just in case i like leave this at home but yeah that's pretty much it i'm probably just gonna spend the rest of the day reading my book where is my book actually i am currently that far this is like almost halfway i'm on page 128 which is chapter 14 of like how many pages are there 370 so it's not technically halfway yet but loving this so far my book of february is this one because you know how what was in my last vlog that i said that i want to read a book a month we'll try to read a book a month but i started this like the last week of jan because i finished um, a Court of Thorns and Roses on my flight to Cape Town so I started this and I'm actually enjoying it so far but yeah I'm probably gonna finish this at the end of the month maybe we shall see I'm trying to read as much as I can right now before school starts and like I want to get at least like halfway before school starts and then we'll see what school how how much I read but yeah I'm gonna try finish this by this month that we shall see we guys will probably like figure out like the next few vlogs maybe if i finished it or not or if i buy a new one and start reading that but yeah probably gonna spend the rest of the evening reading this but yeah hope i'll enjoy this little video and i'll feel like it was like a little bit all over the place and just like me settling in and like prepping for school and stuff but yeah next week's vlog hopefully is a fun one i'm trying to plan like a whole uni diary this is gonna be like my last first day of school ever <laughs> so yeah we're gonna see whether or not like it's eventful i feel like the first week of school is always just like boring man it's always just like introductory stuff catching up with all my friends jay and like now that like, my school is actually like all on campus it's so full so yeah we shall see whether or not next week's video is going to be an entertaining one fingers crossed it is but yeah I'm excited to see everyone. I'm excited to be back on the mountain that is our campus. But yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all next week. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so y'all be notified every time I upload a new video. Yeah, I'll catch you soon with another one. Bye.